Magandang araw po muli, classmate, mga classmate, mga tagapakinig. Magandang araw po, Doc. Pagpapatuloy po natin ang ating pag-aaral tungkol sa sweat or blood. Number eight na po tayo. So, ito po ay isang case. Female, 38 years old. Yung tang description po niya ay pale thin. Ayan po, nakikita natin. Carved up ages. Reddish center, depression at the root. Ayan po yun sa pinakang dulo. Yung sintom po ay deep exhaustion, burning around anus, anal pain, constipation, lack of appetite, at meron po siyang insomnia. So sa western diagnosis po ay inflamed hemorrhoids. Yung background to disease, strong demands at work and home. So, unhappy marriage po siya. Tapos may constant fr frustration. Four pregnancies at pain abuse. So, sa TCM diagnosis po siya ay mayroong splinchy deficiency. At mayroon siyang blood deficiency. Liver chi constraint. Meron po siyang heat sa stomach. At essence deficiency. Next case po natin, female, 35 years old. So, tang description po ay nakikita natin, pale po at saka thin. Pale ages, slightly dry, thick crack in the center. Pale thin, ibig sabihin deficient po talaga siya. Yung symptom po, exhaustion, acute diarrhea with blood and mucus. So, may hair loss din po siya, may short menstrual cycle at saka Intense fear. So, maraming organ na naapektuhan sa kanya. So sa Western diagnosis po, ito ay ulcerative colitis. Yun. Background to disease, may health means improperly treated in India. Yung health means po, ito ay ano po, ano, uh, parasite, intestinal worm. So emotional problem, vegetarian diet po siya at fasting. The same diagnosis po, syempre dahil dun sa kanyang mga diet and fasting, mayroon siyang is, slight spinchy deficiency at blood deficiency dahil nga may hell means. Possible na yung ano yung worm ay sumisipsip din ng kanyang mga kinain. So, mayroon na po siyang liver blood deficiency at slight stomach yin deficiency. So, yung mga potential signs of blood deficiency po. Yan ang una, makikita po natin na maputla ang kanilang mga labi. Pati yung nails po nila, maputla din, yung tang, yung face. Pag hinawakan po natin yung kanilang facial skin, ay dry. Pati po yung hair dry. Tapos falling, hair falling out. Yung kahit hindi sila nanulok dry, hinahaplos lang nalalaglag po yan no? Floaters in the eyes, body aches, numbness, and weak tendons that are easily injured. Oh. Yung iba pa pong nararamdaman, syempre, nahihilo kasi nga kulang ng dugo. Poor memory din po, madali siyang makalimot, hindi niya maalala. Difficulty focusing, depression, anxiety. Difficulty relaxing. Tapos madali din po siyang may stress. Difficulty falling or staying asleep. Mahirapan siyang matulog. Tapos yung pakiramdam niya parang nakalutang o nakahiwal. Parang wala sa sarili yung disembodiment. Yung parang, parang nakatulala. Ganun po yung mga sign ng blood deficiency. Okay po. Ito pa po. Siyempre, wala siyang lakas. Yung upper, may rumpo siyang upper body tension. Tapos heavy periods or light periods. Matakaroon po siya ng headache tapos mga migraine. Okay. Wow. Sa Western Illnesses Group under blood deficiency, ito naman po pag sa Western Diagnosis. So yung ano, may chronic fatigue syndrome po siya. At nakakaroon ng infertility, arthritis, anemia, 
nagkakaroon ng eating disorders, rest, restless leg syndrome, nagkakaroon ng migraine, nagkaroon ng headache, gynecological problem, fibrous, menstrual problem and pain, polycystic ovary syndrome. Problem with focus on end concentration, being scattered for short-term memory. Musculoskeletal pain, weak, muscle muscle tone, cold limbs, insomnia, depression, and anxiety. So yun po yung mga sign ng blood deficient. Thank you, Ma'am Mildred. Blood deficient. Okay, oh, so oh. yeah, for our questions, just write them on the chat box and we will answer it at the end of the session. Yes, Ma'am. Next, we go to tongue diagnosis. Let's welcome straight from uh, Rizal, Mom Teresita Sumile for pale and swollen tongues. Good afternoon, Mom Teresita. Good afternoon, po, Dr. Hector and classmates. Welcome po sa tongue diagnosis. And now let's talk about pale and swollen tongues. Pale tongue with normal tongue shape and coating indicates only slight deficiency of lung and skin chi. In this case, chi is not strong enough to transport the blood to the tongue, resulting in a paler coloration of the tongue body. Paleness of tongue body is proportional to degree of deficiency. The paler the tongue body, the more serious the chi and yang chi. So, kung mahina ang lung and spin chi, the tongue is pale with normal tongue shape and coating kasi hindi kaya ng chi to transport the blood to the tongue. However, kung ang dila ay mas maputla na, dapat ito ay pagtuunan ng pansin dahil the chi and yang deficiency is now getting more serious. Okay? Now, pale tongue with... Pale and swollen tongue is very common. Tang is pale because yang chi is too weak to transport sufficient blood. The tongue is also swollen and as a result of chi and yang deficiency, which results in adequate fluid transformation. Since the fluids are inadequately transformed, they accumulate and transform into dampness. If pale tongue has Degree of swelling of tongue body is inversely related to strength of yang and source chi. That is, a weak yang and source chi will result in a swollen tongue body. Physical overwork, excessive exercise, consumption of raw foods and dairy products can cause deficiency of skin chi and yang. So, kulang sa so kung kulang sa nutrients ang ating iniinom at kinakain araw-araw, o kaya sobra ang pagkain natin sa mga raw foods and daily products o sobra o walang exercise at, at always overwork, all this can cause deficiency of spin chi and yang. So dahil mahina siya, hindi na niya kaya gampanan ang kanyang function of transportation and transformation resulting into a paler and swollen tongue. Okay? If pale tongue has a normal body shape, deficiency is not as serious and can be re rectified through proper and regular diet as well as periods of rest. May pale and swollen tongues are often accompanied by teeth marks. The deeper and more distinctive the marks, the more serious the weakness of stomach and spin chi and spin yang and I'm sorry, spleen and kidney yang. Now let's go to our patient, female, 37 years old. Tongue description, pale, very pale, slightly bluish and swollen. Symptoms, tendency to catch colds, fatigue, sudden severe cramping pain in abdomen. Western diagnosis, none. Background to disease, overwork, and lack of sleep. TCM diagnosis, 
spinachy deficiency with blood deficiency and slight blood stasis. This is because of chronic overwork causing the patient suffering from extreme physical weakness, cold feeling, cold extremities, sensation of cold in the stomach and stomach pain, which reflected on a pale, very swollen tongue body with teeth marks, okay? Then now let's go to case history. Kaya pa doc. Spin yang deficiencies manifested in pale and swollen tongue body. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mrs. W had spent two years in South Africa where she followed a diet that consisted mainly of fruits and juices. Because she felt really well on this diet regime, she maintained the diet when she returned to Germany. She started a new job as manager of a big company. But after six months on the job, she experienced exhaustion, fatigue, and steady weight gain. She also developed an occasional pain and persistent numbness in her right arm. The pale tongue was extremely swollen. Her pulses were saggy and frail. Spleen Yang deficiency as manifested uh, analysis. Spleen Yang deficiency as manifested in pale and swollen tongue body was caused by inappropriate diet for the cold, damp climate of northern Germany as well as requirements of a new job and took all of her strengths. Because of the accumulation of dampness associated with weak yang, she constantly gained weight. Her exhaustion and saggy frail pulse confirmed the diagnosis of spleen yang deficiency. The numbness in her arm was the result of dampness obstructing the channels and collaterals. All Western-style diagnostic procedures failed to diagnose any disorder with this patient. Pale swollen tongues are unmistakably unmistakable signs of spleen chi and yang or kidney yang deficiency, whose of a cool or cold nature specifically damage spleen chi and yang especially when they are consumed in cold climates. From this deficiency, a condition of excess, namely accumulation of dampness can arise. This accumulation blocks the flow of chi and blood and can cause a sensation of heaviness in the body that is numbness. Patients with such tongues should be given dietary advice. Now let's go to our patient, female, 67 years old. Tongue description, pale, very swollen, and has teeth marks. Symptoms, extreme physical weakness, cold feeling, cold extremities, sensation of cold in the stomach, and stomach pain. Western diagnosis, chronic gastritis, background to disease, chronic physical overwork, and this M diagnosis, we have kidney yang, spleen yang, and heart yang deficiency. So this is because chronic, <clears throat> chronic over, <clears throat> were causing the, uh, this is because of chronic overwork causing the patient suffering from extreme phys physical weakness, cold feeling, cold extremities, sensation of cold in the stomach and stomach pain which reflected in a pale, very swollen tongue body with teeth marks. Okay, yun lang po. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Ma'am Teresita. Now we go to diagnosis by interrogation. And let's welcome, straight from Baguio, Ma'am Vina Pasqua. Good afternoon, Ma'am Vina. Good afternoon po, Doctor. Good afternoon po sa lahat. So... Wait lang po. Ah. Wait lang. 
I think uh, of my <laughs> past diagnosis. <clears throat> So, ang topic uh, po natin ay mental, emotional symptoms, basics po, yung fear at saka anxiety. Fear or anxiety. A chronic feeling of anxiety occurring on its own without depression is very common in Western patients. So, yung pakiramdam po ng anxiety includes emotional states akin to, same to the emotions of fear and worry two of the seven emotions in Chinese medicine. It may be accompanied by, uh, caused by deficiency, usually po sa blood o kaya yin, by an excess, usually yung heat, o kaya yung combination of deficiency and excess, usually yin deficiency with empty heat. Pag meron pong deficiency ng blood o kaya yin, yung mind po and ethereal soul ay nawawala po ng residence in heart blood and liver blood, respectively. At saka yung uh, person becomes anxious and sleeps badly. Conversely, pathogenic factors such as stagnation, blood stasis, heat o kaya phlegm heat may agitate the mind and ethereal soul at ito yung naglilid to anxiety and insomnia. Sa mga ibang cases po, of course, the, the mind and ethereal soul are restless from both a deficiency, ito yung yin deficiency, and a pathogenic factor, yun yung empty heat. So dito uh, illustrates gra graphically the two causes of anxiety, that is a deficiency leading to the mind, not being anchored for or a pathogenic factor agitating the mind. So dito nakikita po yung dalawang causes ng anxiety, shin unsettled anxiety. Ito ay blood or yin uh, zu. Shin and hun deprived or residents become unsettled. So nagkakaroon po ng mild anxiety. Pag uh, heat or fire naman, uh, ito yung shen unsettled anxiety, shen and hun agitated by heat become unsettled. Uh, nagkakaroon ng severe anxiety po yan. As a general rule, the degree of anxiety or fear depende po on whether it is caused by an empty or a full condition. Sa empty condition po, it is mild, whereas in full condition, uh, matindi na po. It is usually easy. So, madali lang tingnan yung mga patients uh, are anxious. They look restless. Ang kanilang boses ay uh, maybe quivering. They may fidget, talk a lot in the case of full condition po to, or be very quiet in the case of an empty condition naman. And they may be very anxious about receiving acupuncture. In a few cases, however, a state of anxiety may not be apparent in patients who make a brave, brave attempt to hide. Itago po nila yung kanilang true state. In fact, those who are in constant state of fear may initially appear to be calm and grounded. In these cases, yung dila po, yung pulso at saka yung mata may reveal the patient's state of anxiety or fear. The tongue may have a red tip, often with a deep heart crack. Ang pulso po naman ay wiry in the case naman sa full condition or floating empty in the case of an empty condition. And rapid at saka yung mata nila may look unstable at uh, wala pong kulang po ang control. So ito pattern din anxiety pag empty po, deficiency of blood o kaya deficiency of yin. Sa full naman, may heat. Pag full o kaya empty, yin deficiency with empty heat. So yan lang po. Thank you, doctor. Thank you sa lahat. Thank you po, Ma'am Vina.
Next, we go to pulse diagnosis. Let's welcome once again, Ma'am Mildred. Good afternoon, Ma'am Mildred. Magandang, Magandang araw po muli. Magpapakadalo ba sa po tayo sa pag-aaral ng pulso? So, pulse diagnosis. Uh, pag-aaralan po natin ngayon yung pulse quality. Number 89 na po tayo. So, yung diagnostic parameters po, when you see the list of all the 28 different pulses qualities, it can seem overwhelming and complicated. Dami ano, 28. This does not need to be the case if you utilize the correct methodology and are systematic and logical in your approach. So, when you feel the pulse, kung nang tatanungin nyo, yung mga question na to, kung ang pulse ba ay superficial or deep? So, is the pulse wide or narrow? Is the pulse deficient or replete? Is the pulse fast or slow? Is the pulse rhythmic? What other qualities are there? So, kasi yan po, dyan na natin nalalaman kung nasa ang level yung karamdaman. Siyempre, yung unang tanong na superficial or deep, nasa labas pa lang ba yung pathogenic factor, isang hilang sakit po nasa internal organ na natin, nasa loob na ng katawan. So, napakalaga po yung mga tanong na yan. So, each of the question is fairly simple and the points are easy to differentiate individually. Which is what you have to do? You must consciously investigate and answer each of these questions, one by one. So, kailangan na natin noting down the answer on a piece of paper. So, kung may answer na po tayo sa mga question, you can from, form from the following description. See which type of pulse the patient has. This is because the majority of 28 pulse images are just different combination of the parameters listed below. So, it is easier to remember the pulse images if you divide them into categories. Seven of the pulses are superficial. Four are deep and three are irregular. So, kailangan po i-categorize natin doon. As a result, just determining that the pulse is superficial. For example, limit the possibilities to only seven definitions. Many pulse images can be divided into pairs, either as opposite of each other or development of each other. A hidden pulse, for example, has the same qualities as a weak pulse. So, it gets more extreme. This approach means that 28 images quickly become much less overwhelming and more applicable in practice. So you can choose to learn the list by heart, meaning that you would be able to identify a pulse automatically when you feel it in a client. If you cannot learn the 28 qualities, a copy of the table with the 28 pulse images. So, which you can keep close at hand. You can then compare the answer to the question written above with the description of the various pulse images. So, tingnan po natin yung pulse quality. Ang, ang pulse quality po, it is important to remember that the various parameters can be combined, combined with other qualities such as speed and strength. For example, a pulse can be both deep and rapid, or it could be superficial and tight. So pag pulse depth naman po, learning to judge the depth of the pulse is best achieved through hands-on training with a teacher because the difference in the depth is quiet, subtle. That said, learning to feel the depth of a pulse is something that can be learned quite quickly. The pulse should be palpable in the area just below the skin and should, you should able to feel the pulse continuously while increasing the pressure and pushing deeper with the fingers. So fingers po yung pinang papals po natin ano. About two-thirds of the way down to the bone. So yung sensation from the pulse will cease. 
the pile should therefore not be felt all the way down to the bone. So, kailangan pag pinato mo po yung kamay mo, may mararamdaman ka kung wala. Yun, medyo ididiin mo ng konti. So, you should press the finger slowly downward and then release the pressure again slowly several times. Inuulit-ulit po para talagang tumama yung ating pakiramdam. This is because when we often do not notice certain qualities as the pressure increases. But these qualities become evident on releasing the pressure as the fingers return to the surface again. So account must be taken of a person body size. Siyempre yung sinasabi natin, a thin person, pulse will generally feel more superficial than a corpulent person. Yung mapayat, mas madali mong mahanap ang pulse kaysa dun sa matataba. The corpulent person, pulse will feel deeper than that of a person who is thin and slender. Kasi nga syempre sa payat eh, ramdam mo agad kasi balat agad yun eh. Yung balat sa mataba eh, tab dadaan ka pa din sa taba niya. A healthy pulse can be felt equally clearly in all three levels. So it will true be slightly deeper in the chi position. Yung chi, yung po yun sa part ng kidney. Then, more superficial and kun position. So yung sa middle ay sa, ano po, sa lungs and heart composition. A superficial pulse will be palpable with very little pressure. So yun, ma madali mo pong makapaang superficial. If the pulse is very superficial, ma mararamdaman mo po ito ng walang pressure. Kaya yung mo diniinan. So yung superficial pulse po ay di disappear completely when you push deeper. So pag diniin mo na, nawawala na po siya. Its strength will diminish as you press downward. So the superficial pulse is sometimes described as feeling like a piece of wood floating in water. When you push it down, it appears. When you release the pressure, the wood floats back up again. So this means that if you push your fingers down to the deepest level of the pulse and then release the pressure again, so that the fingers return to the superficial level. So pag diin mo, medyo gagaanan mo uli, oh, mararamdaman mo yun uli. So the sensation from the pulse increases as the fingers release the pressure. The pulse is often only superficial in the chun position. Yung, yung kun position po, ito yung sa ano ng heart and lungs po, ano na part. So the more position, the pulse is superficial. The more serious or dominant the imbalance is. Yung deep pulse po ay either only palpable with pressure. So, yung mga deep pulse po kailangan may may diin di diin ano talaga siya. So it is it or its strength decreases as the pressure is released and the fingers return to the surface of the skin. The deep pulse is felt most clearly in the middle and deepest level and is weakest or is not present in the superficial level. So, ang important po to combine the pulse depth with other factors such as speed and strength. So, yung lalim at saka yung bilis, kailangan po natin laging tinitingnan yun. Okay po? Medyo nakakalito yung pulse, kailangan po yan ipinapractice. Oo, pero ituturo mo yan, Ma'am Mildred, sa ano ha, sa 8 to 9. <laughs> Kasi I was Opo. thinking, <laughs> tang, si Sir Dino, tapos pulse kayo. Then siguro 15 yes, minutes. Po, no. Okay, salamat po. Paulit-ulit lang hanggang ma-master natin, no? Uh, Diyan natin makikita kung how powerful ang ah, katulong yung webinar. Kasi I firmly believe na if we always listen to or if you always study these points this these things eventually um this this will have a, this will leave an indelible mark indelible mark sa ating utak diba yes po yung paulit-ulit diba na, na, na parang natatanim na sa isip so uh we will have the lecture pa by, by Dr. Webb then after that siguro by June uh 14 we will resume with our ano tuloy-tuloy na po yan Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Mildred. I'm sure you're enjoying what you're Thank doing. You <laughs> salamat po.
Next, we go to differential diagnosis. Let's call on Ma'am Needs. Good afternoon po, Ma'am Needs. Good afternoon, Doc Hector. Good afternoon, everyone. How's my audio, Doc? Very clear as usual. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, welcome to our TCM Foundations, number 190, Lang Yin Deficiency. Okay. Uh, ang etiology or cause ng langin deficiency ay hereditary weakness, poor posture which constricts the breath. Okay, kasi yung pagka yung posture natin pangit or kuba, medyo kuba, uh, naapektuhan yung paghinga. Okay, exterior attack of wind cold or wind heat resulting in impaired lang descending function. So, yun, naepektuhan na ang function ng lungs, which is descending. Uh, prolonged grief and sadness, weakening the lung chi, external or internally generated dryness, uh, etiological factors leading to kidney and or stomach yin deficiency. Okay? Uh, mostly, yung possible presenting condition, yung may mga patients na mayroong pulmonary tuberculosis or PTB. Okay? Ang sign and symptoms, cough, which is dry, or with scanty sticky sputum. Okay? Weak or hoarse voice, dry mouth and throat, thickly throat, nung medyo makatikat yan eh. Tiredness, pagkapagod, dislike of speaking, uh, ayaw magsalita, thin body or thin chest, At, alam naman natin kung ano yung ba medyo payat, and thin chest, night sweating, emaciation, afternoon tidal wave, five palm hit. Okay? Ang pulse kapag pinalpate mo ay floating, empty, rapid, or fine. Okay? Uh, when you see the tongue, it could be normal color or red and peeled. Okay. Treatment principle for these patients, moisten lang, suppress cough, Enrich yin. Okay? Acupuncture treatment, we're going to use points. Lang 9, supplements lang yin. Spleen 6, supplements yin. Uh, GV12 or DU12, relieves cough and dyspnea. dyspnea. Kidney 6, supplements yin, benefits the throat. Bladder 43, supplements lang yin. REN 17 or CV17, uh, supplements G and lang yin. Okay? Bladder 13, bakshu of the lungs, supplements lang G and yin. Ren 4 or GV4, uh, CV4 I mean, sorry, supplements kidney yin. Ren 12 or CV12, supplements stomach yin. Lang 5, clears lang heat, uh, needle with supplementation technique. Okay? Yung pagka may Additional na um, kita mo may lang kidney yin deficiency yung patient, you have to add bladder 23 and spleen 6. Okay? Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Thank so, you very much, Ma'am Nate. Very informative indeed. So the next time you see a patient with TB, you would know what to do. Diba? Dito mo na ma makikita yung importance ng mask. Okay? Maraming salamat po. From differential diagnosis, we proceed po to uh, acupuncture patterns and practice. And uh, today we will talk about, we will continue our discussion on uh, constipation. <clears throat> Key points of analysis. So uh, let's look at the tongue and the coating. A red tongue that has little moisture and no or little coating indicates that the constipation is due to insufficient blood and fluids. A pay, if you have a pale tongue with little coating, this is constipation secondary to uh, chi and blood deficiency. A white and smooth tongue coating that is not greasy indicates constipation mostly due to internal gelling of in cold. A thick yellow tongue coating that is dirty and greasy 
The constipation is due to heat accumulation in the stomach and the intestines. Then we uh, look at the feces and defecation. Hard and dry feces plus burning sensation in the anus during defecation, there is gelling of dryness heat in the interior. Hard and dry feces, difficult to evacuate, gelling of in cold. Feces that are not especially hard or dry, but difficult to evacuate or not evacuated smoothly indicate chi deficiency. Palpation of the abdomen. If there is guarding of the abdomen, the condition is uh, one of disease evil strength. So this is excess. Pagwalang guarding, but refers abdominal pressure uh, along with constipation deficiency. Acupuncture treatment. So uh, we select bladder 25, stomach 25, SJ6, plus other acupoints as needed. For constipation due to excess, we apply reducing method. For deficiency constipation, we use reinforcing or tonification method. So for cold constipation, we can do moxibustion. For heat constipation, we add LI4 and LI11, of course. Then for chi constipation, we add CV12 and liver 2. For constipation due to chi or blood deficiency, we add bladder 20 and bladder 21. For constipation due to deficiency of yang chi, we do moxa at uh, CV8 and CV6. Case study. The patient was a 28-year-old female. For five years, she had frequent difficulty with defecation. She would only evacuate once in 10 days. Wow. She had abdominal distension and discomfort, poor appetite, dizziness, lusterless complexion, tongue coating, thin and white, pulse thread-like. Diagnosis, constipation caused by insufficiency of blood and dry intestines. Treatment principle, nourish the blood, moisten the intestines. Thank you very much. Next, we go to signs and symptoms. Let's call once again, Ma'am Teresita Sumile to do the honors. Good afternoon, Ma'am Teresita. Good afternoon po, Dr. Hector. And good afternoon ulit sa pangatras misto. Signs and symptoms of drooping lips, abdominal lip color in pregnancy. Drooping lips, uh, spinchy deficient and sinking. Uh, so meron po siya drooping lips, feeling of bearing down in the abdomen, prolapse, poor appetite, slight abdominal distension after eating, tiredness, lassitude, pale complexion, weakness of the limbs, loose tools, pale tongue, and empty pulse. Next is spleen and kidney yang deficiency. Symptoms and signs are drooping lips, lower back ache, cold and weakness, feeling cold, bright white complexion, impotence, decreased libido, tiredness, lassitude, abundant clear urination, urination at night, loose tools, poor appetite, slight abdominal distension, desire to lie down, early morning diarrhea, and pale and wet tongue with deep, weak pulse. Abnormal lip color in pregnancy. Um, in blood deficiency, uh, signs and symptoms are pale lips in pregnancy, dizziness, blurred vision, floaters, numbness or tingling of limbs, dull pale complexion, palpitations, pale tongue, and choppy or fine pulse. In severe blood deficiency, signs and symptoms are white colored lips, dryness of the corners of the mouth, exhaustion, palpitation, dizziness, 
blurred vision, floaters, numbness or tingling of limbs, dull pale complexion, dry skin, pale and dry or pale and without coating tongue, and choppy or fine pulse. In blood, in blood stasis from cold, signs and symptoms are bluish lips in pregnancy, abdominal pain that is alleviated by the application of heat, chest pain, headache, cold limbs, bluish purple tongue, and tight pulse. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Mom Teresita. Next, we go to atrophy syndrome. Let's listen to Mom Vina Pasqua. Good afternoon po ulit, Mom Vina. Good afternoon po, Doctor. Good afternoon po sa lahat. So, atrophy syndrome po tayo. Uh, day 6, prognosis of uh, and western differentiation. Prognosis and Western differentiation. Uh, in the case of atrophy syndrome, it is essential for the patient to obtain a Western diagnosis from a uh, neurologist as the prognosis depends very much on the type of disease involved. So first of all, according to Western medicine, paralysis may occur either from injury of the spinal or motor nerves or from injury to the muscles. The Chinese theory of atrophy syndrome does not differentiate between these two. So atrophy syndrome could appear in any of the following diseases. Uh, una, poliomyelitis, myasthenia gravis, motor neuron disease, multiple sclerosis, at a muscular dystrophy. Uh, ito yung poliomyelitis. This is an infection caused by a polio virus. Nagsisimula po ito with symptoms of a respiratory infection na may fever at saka masakit ang ulo. In some cases, after a remission of about a week, uh, yung lagnat po ay nagsisimula ula, uh, sorry po, nagsisimula ulit. And again, as it abates, it is followed by the paralysis of a limb. Then next, itong myasthenia gravis. This consists of abnormal fatigue of muscles. Ang first symptoms po nito are weakness, pag lumulunok, swallowing, and speaking. Any muscle can be affected, but those of the shoulders are more frequently involved. Itong next naman, Motor neuron disease, this is due to damage of motor neurons in the spinal cord o kaya sa brain stem. It usually appears between the age of 50 and 70. Ang main symptoms po nito and signs are weakness and wasting of the muscles. In the bulbar type, when the motor neurons of uh, medulla and pons are affected, yung speech po is severely impaired and uh, mahirap na uh, mag-swallow. Next naman, multiple sclerosis. This consists of uh, demyelination of the myelin sheet. Muscular dystrophy. This consists of progressive degeneration of muscles without involvement of the nervous system. The wasting and weaknesses are symmetrical and there are no there is no sensory loss. There are different types of this disease, but uh, lahat po sila are genetic and they usually start within the first three years of life. Acupuncture and Chinese herbs can be effective in treating the paralysis following an attack of poliomyelitis, but only if the treatment is given as early as possible after its onset. They are also effective in treating multiple sclerosis. Less good result, if any at all, are obtained in the treatment of myasthenia, gravis, and usually none at all in motor neuron disease and muscular dystrophy. 
However, meron pong mga kaso of atrophy syndrome that do not correspond to any recognized Western disease. These cases can usually be helped quite well. For example, yung symptoms and signs po ng atrophy syndrome may appear after any febrile disease. Not only poliomyelitis, the following case history is an example of such a condition. So dito meron po tayong case history, 50-year-old lady feel ill with a sudden viral infection. Uh, mataas po ang kanyang temperature and uh, ang kanyang neck ay very stiff at masak uh, so matindi po yung sakit ng kanyang ulo. Her symptoms resembled meningitis. After a week in which her temperature remained constantly high, uh, na-develop ng extreme weakness sa both arm and leg on the left side. At times, she could hardly walk. It was at this time that she sought treatment. Ang diagnosis po nito. This was a very clear case of a warm disease with invasion of wind heat turning into interior heat that injured the yin fluids. This led to malnourishment of sinews and channels and therefore to atrophy syndrome uh, na nag-apig na po yung arm at saka yung leg. Ang treatment principle po, the principle applied was to clear residual heat in lungs and stomach, inorris po yung yin, benefit fluids and nourish nourish the channels. She was treated only with acupuncture. So, ang mean points po na ginamit ay lang 10, stomach 44, LI 11, do 14, rent 12, spleen 6, stomach 36, at kidney 3. The first four points were reduced to clear heat, while the other were reinforced to nourishing and benefit fluids. In addition to the above points, the other points were reinforced to benefit the channels. These were LI10, TB5, stomach 31, stomach 34 uh, for the leg. Eight treatments were enough to restore her muscular strength and walking ability to normal. So yan lang po. Thank you, doctor. Thank you sa lahat. Thank you very much, Mom Pina. With that, we would like to thank everyone for joining. And if you have questions, you may ask them now on the chat box. Thank you very much. And uh, good afternoon. <laughs>